So that's John McAfee and he's bullish as usual. Do you think he's unnecessarily bullish or he's over optimistic? Uh, I, you know, again, I'm, I, I tend to be very pragmatic. I think that a jump from where we are now to a million dollars in 2020, that's a, a pretty big jump. You have to be extremely optimistic to believe that possible. But he claims that he can't lose this bet because he's worked this thing out mathematically. He says there's a mathematical formula which is based on the cost of mining all the Bitcoin and that that's how he gets to his number. And I mean, he's not a stupid guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't disagree. Look, I've, I've got mad respect for John and for the things that he's done in the past. Um, I, I think that, that the, we're all out of our depth in this, in this market right now. Uh, I spoke to a trader, uh, an experienced Forex trader the other day, and I said to him, you know, the crypto market's mad. We don't know which way it's going. And he said to me, no, we don't understand the market. That's all. And, and I think that we're all making guesses. John's making guesses. I'm making guesses. Everyone's making guesses. But ultimately, we don't understand all the market forces. But there's one guy that claims he doesn't make guesses, and that's Tone Vase. Now, Tone Vase plots these charts, and he has this Bitcoin show, which he does daily. And on his show, he plots a chart. Now, we had a show on CryptoTrader where we had five of the best chartists on Twitter. And we asked them all to give us their predictions. All of them were wrong, except Tone Vase. What he said was, he said that if Bitcoin doesn't break $8,500 with volume, then we're going to carry on coming down. And now he's calling Bitcoin down to $1,300. Tone, are you panicking at these points? No, I am not panicking, but at the moment, I... That's some scary stuff, man. I don't want to hear that Bitcoin's going to go down to $1,300. That makes me really upset. And even though I think John McAfee is a complete kook, I do hope his prediction of a million dollars by 2020 Bitcoin, I hope that comes true. But... Uh, this is really scary. Um, I'll go ahead and if you want to watch the rest of this interview, because I did cut it short, I will share the rest of this video. Um, but if you want to go ahead and skip it, it's Crypto Trader CNBC. Um, it's the uh, it's the last um, major show they posted, so you should be able to find it. And if people are watching, someone in the comments, please post a link to this. Um, I am uh, really grateful for people that help help me share the information and um, so moving forward I personally do not think Bitcoin will hit 1300 but I'm prepared to take that kind of hit I will be making buys and preparing myself that if Bitcoin goes down to 1300 I haven't just spent all my fiat currency um, I have been slowly buying this dip uh, unfortunately, I started buying at $10,000 Bitcoin, so I am definitely down a little bit. Um, I did get into the crypto market in July, so uh, my at least my initial purchases where I uh, made a lot of purchases when the market cap was under $200 billion, um, I'm still up on those. But unfortunately, uh, I did get greedy and started buying in December and January. Um, I did not make a purchase of Bitcoin over fifteen or sixteen hundred. I think if I did, it was very, very small amounts. So I'm good on that end, but uh, we'll have to see. Only time will tell. And I will share the rest of this interview too. But the idea that Bitcoin will hit thirteen hundred or go under thirteen hundred is very scary. So if you are buying, and I'm encouraging everyone to buy, please have some fiat reserves. Because if it does hit, hit 1300 you don't want to be out of fiat reserves. That's, that's where you want to strike. But at the same time, obviously, you don't want to miss this. Um, it will obviously bounce. And when it does bounce, uh, it's quick. So let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you soon.